Hello, this is Mr. Nolan, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a li little demonstration that uh, I just did in uh, school today for my uh, biology students. We're getting to the point uh, in our systems and scales unit when we can start to develop models. And so uh, we are going to go ahead and we're going to look at uh, ethanol <coughs> burning now that we know some, some background here. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up this procedure just like we did with our soda pop fizzing. I have a fireproof box here that's lined with uh, foil and we have uh, a plate of BTB and then we also have a glass uh, dish of uh, alcohol, uh, ethanol, which I haven't added anything into. I have teared the dish. Uh, that way the weight of the dish does not factor in. What I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, go ahead and burn some ethanol. We're going to burn a little ethanol after we weigh it. So we see that we have 27.72 grams. So 27.72. And uh, after uh, I set that over there, I'm going to go ahead and light up that ethanol. And when I do that, what we are going to uh, find is that uh, we're going to have some changes in energy. So what we're wondering is, well, what uh, kind of you know, transformations of energy are we going to see? Now in class, we've, we've already seen this, um, so this is really not much of a surprise, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll give this a try. All right, so I've got my lip match here. I'm gonna add that to our ethanol. And we see that we have this nice flame going on. It's silent. Um, however, what you might notice, if you were to, to wave your hand over a fire, just like a bonfire or something, there is uh, air blowing up against my hand. Sort of this, you know, warm air, sort of an updraft. We see that there's thermal energy and there's light energy and there's all kinds of uh, evidence of energy transformations going on here. Um, so far, my BTB has not changed. But what the purpose of our BTB is, is that when we throw our fireproof box over these two, um, it's going to, uh, any gases that are released by this fire are going to be enclosed in that box and they will be absorbed by the BTB. And depending on the color change of the BTB, that is going to indicate uh, maybe what the identity of that chemical is, that gas that's, that's leaving the fire right now. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to place our fireproof box over this now that it's burned for a minute or two. I'm going to go ahead and close that. You can see it still burns for a few seconds, and there it goes, so it went, at, uh, went out. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this sit for a few minutes uh, and see if there's any change. I have uh, BTB outside, just so that we can compare the new uh, BTB to the old. All right, so we have let this uh, sit here for about uh, maybe 10 minutes or so, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the lid off and have our big reveal, and we're going to see how the color of the BTB, the, the new BTB, compares to the BTB that has been sitting out. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this fireproof box up. Ah, we can see it's a pretty clear transition there that our new BTB has turned yellow, and this one has turned green. And all that we know right now is that this one has become acidic. We don't really know exactly what it was that has gone on into there, but we know that it's acidic because that's what BTB does uh, when the pH drops. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our um, we're going to take our dish and we're going to weigh it. All right, 67.66. Now you have to understand what this means, what we're looking at here. Uh, the, the scale shut off. Um, and it is, uh, it is not accounting for, for tearing the dish. So it's actually the, the mass of the, um, the ethanol here is actually um, this number, 67.54 minus 44.15. All right, now I'm going to try to have you follow the, the logic of my math here. So the scale read 67. Uh, 5, 4, if I recall correctly, and I subtracted the mass of the dish to get 23.39 grams. So that's the gram, uh, the mass of the, the current amount of ethanol in the dish. Now I took that number here. Now the original mass was 27.20, again, as I recall, because I didn't write it down when I said it. Um, and when I subtract the original mass of the ethanol 
with the current mass of the ethanol, I get 3.81 as the difference, and that's negative 3.81. So uh, if you really, if you think about, you know, your, your math. So um, this is the change in our ethanol. So this was the amount of ethanol that was burned, 3.81 grams. And it's that 3.81 grams that was, that became a gas and was trapped under the box and, and then went into our BTB and turned it yellow. And again, currently right now, we don't know what that is, except that it, it became, it made the, P, uh, the pH low and uh, acidic. So when you come in, uh, the next time I see you, we're going to start constructing uh, arguments about what do we think is actually going on here? Why did the pH drop instead of rise uh, and the pH, uh, the, the BTB turned yellow? Um, and then uh, what's, what's really happening with the mass of our uh, ethanol besides the fact that it's burning? Uh, you know, what, what is going on here? So when I see you next, we'll talk about those things. Uh, so thanks for watching. Viva la science.